we are all in different fields and professions, but there were so many things that were unique to all of us collectively. And, you know, what I take away from that is, you know, even in life, we, we have different paths and we have different roles, but we should always embrace each other, affirm each other and be supportive to each other as women. Let's not tear down, let's build up because essentially we are all on the same journey. We all have to cross the same hurdles. Okay, I guess I'll go next. Um, my takeaway, I mean, experiencing my break home was really, really beautiful. I got to hear about just um, how much the kids are, well, they're not kids, young adults, um, how they're trying to figure everything out. And that take, the takeaway from that is it's going to be okay. It's fine. You're going to figure it out. Do not rush it. Do not rush life. Life is too short to do anything that you do not want to do. You're not passionate about your, that does not bring you joy. Again, what I said earlier, if it does not make you tick, stay away from it. I am all for just the, you know, the joy of life. <laughs> um, but my younger self, I mean, even me being in college or even high school, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like I was kind of back and forth about what my majors were going to be. I wanted to be a cardiovascular surgeon when I was little. And then I was like, oh, maybe I want to be a sex therapist. Oh, then maybe I want to be an actual therapist. Oh, then maybe I want to be a nurse. And so younger Andrea, you will figure it out. It's fine. And things are going to be beautiful because you'll love what you do. Yeah, that's it. Hi everyone, I guess I'll go next. Um, I just wanna say, first and foremost, it has just been an honor just to be with all of you, just to be with the panelists and to talk to some of the young women. I have been inspired. And so um, I've just truly just been honored by this moment. Um, one other takeaway that I would say for myself, um, just realizing who you are, that has been something that I have continued to tell myself that above all else, never, ever, ever give up. As long as you have breath in your lungs, you have purpose. And with that purpose, you can move mountains. So don't give up, continue to persevere. Um, what I would tell my younger self is slow down be present. Stop looking too much into the future that you cannot really experience the joy that you have right now. Everything will come, but experience, experience life right now. Experience the friendships you have right now. College is such a wonderful experience because you get to meet individuals you would never come into contact with otherwise. So it's a beautiful moment so I know it's, you know, it brings anxiety to think about the next level, the next step. When I graduate from here, where am I going? But enjoy the present moment. I really felt like this was such a gift to me, right? Um, and the, listening to the other stories and to be a part of this, I guess, panel of incredible women, you realize that we each have our struggles, right? And you don't see the stories behind the success that is, is there. And I think um, if I were to tell my younger self something, and I wanna share this with you um, as you're in, you know, in Queens College sitting there, just like be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Um, and uh, finance is, I guess I'll leave with this, finance is also part of self-care. When you take care of your finances, you have one less thing to stress about um, because you're able to pay attention to the other parts of what needs addressing. Um, so look at your finances, pay attention to it. It's not as complicated as people make it to be. It's just doing the one thing. Somebody said it earlier before. It's just doing that one thing right now to get you to the next step. Save a little bit, put away a little bit out of each paycheck. Um, and then when you get to that point, start investing, right? Paying attention. If you don't know, ask somebody who knows more than you. And if you don't trust what they're telling you, ask somebody else. And that's always okay. Um, trust, don't 
trust everything. And if I can't say this enough, if it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Okay, so there are no get rich schemes. Um, it's all about that slow and steady process that's going to build wealth over time. Uh, the nugget that I got from the breakout session was, you know, hire a financial investor. And I think that's so important, whether you're a student, you know, find, find someone that's gonna help you through your financial journey. Doing that is so important to help you kind of navigate through the maze um, that it may seem to be. Uh, as it relates to my, um, what I would tell my younger self is face your traumas, face your traumas and find your healing. You know, a lot of times um, as young adults or if you're a student, you have a lot of things in your childhood that you haven't dealt with. And those things affect your success as you go on. And the healing that you can experience, whether you go on campus and find a, a, a counselor or someone that you trust um, to kind of help you heal because you can't show up in your profession as bright as you can be if you haven't healed from some of the things that you may have experienced in your life. And so I would say heal. You know, it's okay to, a lot of times when I was faced with great successes, I was not able to present as well because there was a lot of things in my childhood or as a young adult that I hadn't healed from. And that showed. And so I want to, uh, in the space that I'm in now, when trauma happens or conflict happens, instead of, of avoiding it, I, I face it. I face it more and more um, confidently. And so it's okay to heal. It's okay to go through those traumas and just become a, a better person as a result of that. And thank you again for allowing me on today. I have to say that this was absolutely beautiful. I wish when I was in college that I could attend something like this. Um, just being able to see women from different careers be successful, you can see yourself in at least one of us. Um, something that I wish that my younger self knew was that the joy is in the journey and to not stress the little things. I remember from high school through college up until this point, it's constantly thinking about what do I do next? Where do I go from here? What's the plan? What am I going to do with my life? But your life is so much more than just your career. It's your friends. It's your families. It's your finances. There's so many things that can make you happy that if you just focus on just getting to the next step in your career, you're going to miss out on so much more. You're building relationships during this pivotal moment in your life that are going to set you up for the rest of your life. So pay attention to that. Enjoy the road that you're on right now. You might not have it all figured out. You're never going to have it all figured out, but things always work themselves out. So do not stress yourselves out over the little things in this current moment, because those little things that seem big to you right now, in five years, you're going to tell yourself, why did I even waste my time? And you don't realize how much time you waste stressing and thinking about little things, or I could have done this, or I should have done this, or it takes so much joy out of your life. And you, even in the good moments that you might have, you're not fully enjoying or embracing those good times because you're stressing about what to do next. So the joy is truly in the journey. Enjoy your friends, enjoy your family, enjoy your fun. And your career will work itself out. You're still very young and it's okay if you don't know what you want to do. You'll figure it out and be kind with yourself as you figure it out. Not everyone has to be a physician. Not everyone has to be an engineer. Not everyone has to be an astronaut. You find what works for you, what you're passionate about, and that will make you happy. Thank you guys so much for sharing. You guys are amazing. Um, now that you guys did your little takeaway, I wanna ask everybody here, what was your takeaway from what this whole thing it was amazing i'm speechless <laughs> um i'll go i guess the part where it's like you don't have to figure out everything right now like you said like what is your next step because like i graduate after the semester ends and i'm constantly thinking about what is my next step like do i pursue my master's do i get a job so i will be starting my master's at queen in at um, queen's college in august for um, my ms in accounting i'm just getting through the paperwork and i am in the process of looking for a job as well if i may add to that uh, to uh, shima 
definitely um, consider interning at a local government while you are kind of facilitating what kind of accounting or what kind of finance you want to go into. Um, but there's so many great opportunities in government and sometimes it's just going in and saying, I'm, I'm a student, I'm a recent grad, and I would love to intern and you'll, you'll learn so much and that kind of help you see if that's an avenue that you may want to eventually pursue. Um, on behalf of the Young Women's Alliance, I do want to extend heartfelt thanks, not only to our panelists and our breakout presenters, but also to our audience, our Sikh students. Um, without you, this event would not be possible or successful. Um, as, as counselors and Dr. Regis and Mrs. George can attest to this, um, we're here to encourage and engage our students, but it's always good to have uh, individuals who are in their profession to be able to offer a gems. <laughs> um, so that way, you know, our students know that it is okay. Um, you can't figure everything out in college and in the event that you don't that's okay it's not the end of the world so i do want to say thank you thank you to everyone um it was a joy having you here and i hope that our students um not only has this been beneficial for you but it has added that extra layer in terms of where you go or where you decide to go um career wise